So the question is this, when should you trust your intuition? Suppose you're just starting out in pre-algebra or algebra and you're working some problems, you have an idea what the answer is, your intuition tells you one thing. Can you trust your intuition? Well, let's look at some problems here. What if we say subtract 2 from 5? What does your intuition tell you about that? 3? Well, that's the correct answer, so in that case your intuition is right. Now, when you say subtract negative 2 from 5, we start working with negative numbers. Now, what does your intuition tell you? So, subtract negative 2 from 5. Think of what the answer might be to that. How about subtract 2 from negative 5? Again, another problem. What does your intuition tell you? Okay, so think about that for a little bit. Now, let's work these problems. Okay, so subtract 2 from 5. When I write that in terms of um, symbols, it's going to be 5 subtract 2. Okay, and in algebra, we, what we say is subtracting 2 is the same as adding its opposite, negative 2. So in algebra, we think this, 5 plus negative 2. So 5 plus negative 2, the answer to that is going to be 3. So our rule in algebra comes out to match what our intuition tells us. That is, 5 subtract 2, or subtract 2 from 5, which we write as 5 subtract 2, comes out to be 3. So our intuition's okay there. Let's look at this one. Subtract negative 2 from 5. Okay, I'm going to write it out in symbols. It's going to be 5, and then I need subtract for my subtraction side there, and then the number negative 2. So 5 subtract negative 2 is going to end up to be, subtracting negative 2 is the same as adding positive 2, 5 plus 2, that comes out to be 7. So, is that what your intuition told you? If not, then you want to just think to yourself, okay, maybe I should just go to the rules first, trust my intuition a little bit later. Okay, how about subtracting 2 from negative 5? Well, that's going to be negative 5, and then I want to subtract from that 2, Okay, my um, rule for subtraction tells me that this is going to be negative 5 plus negative 2, because instead of subtracting 2, I want to add negative 2, and negative 5 subtract plus negative 2 is going to be negative 7. So again, ask yourself, did my intuition tell me that subtracting 2 from negative 5 was going to give me negative 7? If it did, you're okay. If it didn't, then what you want to do is make sure that you go to the rules first. Trust your intuition later after you've had a lot of experience doing this because after you've worked a lot of problems like this where you change subtraction to addition of the opposite, you will start to think like this. This will represent what your intuition tells you. But a lot of times students just starting out in pre-algebra or algebra, their intuition will give them a different answer and they'll want to stick with their intuition in spite of the fact that it's giving them wrong answers. So you want to make sure you can change subtraction to addition of the opposite, get the correct answer, work a lot of problems, then your intuition will start to match the correct answers to these problems.